Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For anyone who's new here, my name is Jessica and I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen in the Department of Chemistry. And I make vlogs here on YouTube. I make videos showing what I'm doing in the lab. I make advice videos. So thank you for coming along to my channel. There's a few new PhD students that have recently started up in our lab and they've been asking me for some advice. So I thought, why not share the advice that I've been sharing with these new PhD students here on my YouTube channel. A lot of the information covered in this video will apply to lab-based PhD students, but some of the information will also be helpful if you don't do a lab-based PhD and you're mainly computer and desk-based. So please stick around even if you aren't a lab-based PhD student. Okay, let's jump right in. So my first piece of advice for first year PhD students would be to use your first year to absorb as much information as you can. This might be in the form of reading as much literature as you can in order to familiarize yourself with your PhD project and what research has already been conducted in your research area. Or this could refer to learning skills in the lab or learning how to use software packages, data analysis tools. Just use this year to learn, learn, learn. From my personal experience, I was quite worried about trying to get results in my first year. However, looking back on my first year now, it was actually so useful because that's where I learned how to do everything. From speaking to other PhD students, a lot of the time, the data and the results that they gathered in their first year, they didn't even end up putting into their final thesis. So don't stress too much about the results. Use the time to learn, to grow and to familiarize yourself with your project. Of course, take what I'm saying here with a pinch of salt, because if your supervisor is pushing you to get those results in your first year, of course, then do that. I'm just reflecting on my experience and now I'm very grateful for spending that time just learning and evolving during my first year. My second piece of advice for first year PhD students would be to write up as you go along. So what I mean by this is to write up the methods of how you conducted your experiments and write up the results from your experiments as you are going along and as you're progressing through your PhD project. So if you have any downtime while you're waiting for experiments to run, for example, sit on your computer, type out the methods, type out the names of the instruments you used, the volumes of reagents you used, how long you did this for, how long you waited for that reaction for. Just get it all down in a Word document so all the information is in one place later on and you don't have to be going through your lab notebook trying to find all of the little details when you come to writing up in the future. Also, I would analyze your data as you go along and this includes making figures and graphs because then later on when you need these figures and graphs, they're already there. I've been doing this since the start of my PhD and it was incredibly useful when I had to write my first year report and when I had to write my second year report because basically everything that I reported, I had already written up in short form on my computer. So when I say to write as I go along, I don't mean to write perfect thesis chapters. I mean, just get all the information down in a document all in one place so it's easy to find later on. My third piece of advice would be if you feel a bit lost during your first year or you feel like you don't really know what's going on with your project, it maybe doesn't have a proper plan yet, don't worry. I remember in my first year, I was looking at all of the senior students around me thinking, how do they know how to do everything? But that's because they've been doing it for longer. Trust me, I'm now a senior PhD student and at one point when I first began, I did not have a clue what I was doing. So you can't compare yourself to the older PhD students because naturally they just have more experience. I don't think it was until I reached my second or my even maybe even my third year that I began to actually feel in control of my project. I began to feel familiar with all the techniques and the instruments and the data analysis packages. And now, I feel like I know what I'm doing, finally, after all this time. Some people feel that when they start their PhD, they're expected to know everything, but that's wrong. Your PhD is a time for learning and for gaining these skills and for learning all of this new information. And you just have to practice, practice, practice and read, read, read lots of papers before you become familiar with your project, familiar with the literature and familiar with the skills. So don't compare yourself to those older PhD students because they have more experience. My final piece of advice for this video would be to just ask questions. If you don't know what to do next in your project, ask your supervisor. If you're struggling with a technique in the lab, ask your lab colleagues round about you. I remember in my first year, I felt like I was annoying everyone by asking them questions all the time. So sometimes I would be a bit hesitant to ask them and maybe even spend a few days avoiding an experiment because I didn't have a clue what to do and I was too scared to ask people. 
Even if you feel like you're bothering the more senior PhD students, just remember that at one point they were a first year PhD student and they were asking the older PhD students what to do as well. I'm now in a position where I'm familiar with the skills that I'm conducting for my project, so I'm actually the one answering questions to first year PhD students. But it feels like just yesterday I was that first year PhD student asking all the questions. So don't do a Jessica and spend days on end not doing experiments because you don't have a clue what to do. Just ask. Thank you so much again for tuning into my video this week. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys all in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.